everybody, it's Cindy at Sparko Vintage. Thanks so much for joining me today. First of all, before we even get started, I want to give a shout out to my own crafting sister, Sharon at Inky Spirits. She's an amazing resin, jewelry maker, craft artist in her own, but I just love my fresh t-shirt. And thanks so much, Sharon, for buying this for me. We were able to wear them together to a scrapbook expo that we went to in early April. And so one of my favorite t-shirts and it always reminds me of so much fun that we have together. So as we get started today, I wanted to share with you my thrift haul from the Miami Deerfield area down in South Florida. So I don't often thrift while I'm down there because it is a higher priced market. I think there's so many people in such a population down there. The thrift stores are jammed pack, but for me, the prices are a little bit higher than I like. So you have to really do some work. However, I found the most amazing thrift store that had the coolest prices and the most fantastic items. The thing I love about the South Florida area that we don't have up here in Tampa Bay is their thrift stores stay open till eight or nine o'clock at night. As we're here in our local area, they close at six, sometimes three. So I'd always get a chance to thrift as much in town as I do when I'm off visiting family or traveling. So let's get started on what we found today. Well, you know, I always like to get started with the bigger stuff first. So the first thing that I found down there was this amazing galvanized watering can. I love it. It's got the wood handles. It's got the cool little spout. I can tell it's been well loved. It's just such an amazing curved spot. I don't tend to see those very often. Plus the little catch here because it's a heavy can. And uh, I'm sure once you add water, there's a lot of weight to that. So anyway, just probably one of my favorite finds. I'm sure they didn't have much uh, use for it down in Miami in the beaching areas, but our win, right? So super great piece there. So moving along also with another great galvanized piece that I found, this comes from Magnolia Home. And as you know, Chip and Joanna Gaines, that's their brand. What I particularly loved about this is not only the divided area, perfect for storing, putting beverages in. If you want to do plant starters, this is another fabulous piece to use for that. But again, anytime we have wood handles, you just cannot go wrong. It's a beautiful, sturdy piece. I'm not even sure that's been used. So it was another great find and I was really happy to find this as well. So going along with the theme of enamelware, kitchenware, uh, all those kind of items. Again, I found another great enamelware pan. I love the white with the black. Uh, you can see it's been a little used, but we never mind that in the vintage world. We like a little rusty crusty. Um, I'm sure a lid of some kind or maybe some racks came in here. This might have been like a roasting pan or a cooking pan of some sort. Uh, but I just think, again, it's another great thing for farmhouse look, for cottage decor, super for a small container garden. Let's say you're like in an apartment or a small place, a townhouse. This would be a great little uh, herb um, or cooking container garden holder. So again, another great piece down there. Now, following along, this is an item that, you know, sometimes you find something and you're just like, oh my God, how come nobody else saw this? So I happen to be familiar with the Dansk items because in early in my thrifting, I found beautiful uh, stock pots in yellow. And the woman who was the cashier at the church bazaar where I was at said that they had been her wedding gift in the 1960s. So we did really well with those on eBay. And this is a paella pan. So for those of you that are familiar, it's usually um, a Cuban or South American seafood dish that has rice and beans and seafood, sometimes meat or braised pork. So it's a really sturdy, beautiful piece. And as you can see, it's got the the blue stamp on the back. So it's it's a gorgeous piece. Um, it's got a little bit of wear on the inside, not too severe. So I thought it was something that might be a great piece uh, to include on our eBay site. So look for this one coming out very soon. Well, I guess I was just in a kitchenware mood while I was down there, but I found this adorable paper towel holder from 
Pioneer Woman. And I know these can be found still retail, but I just think there's something so beautiful about the deep blue. Love the little crystal at the top, the wood dowel. Again, an area for your uh, paper towels to come out here. I just thought it was super adorable. I love the Pioneer Woman's take on modern vintage. And I thought, how can you go wrong with something this beautiful? So adding that as well to our vintage haul this week. Well, we're going to keep going with the kitchenware. Love this muddler. So this is for corn mashing, herb mashing. What I particularly love about it is how worn the handle is. This tells me this has been used and loved. There's a little bit of chippy goodness here as well. I don't know if I'll repurpose it. I kind of like the way that it looks as it is. I might do some uh, mineral oil and some wood treatment to kind of bring it back up. But I think the difference in the handle and the body tells a lot about the story of this vintage piece. We're about to get mugged. I mean, come on. How adorable is this gorgeous little Gibson vintage mug with the adorable penguins? And that's not all. There's some on the back as well. It's got a nice little icy blue rim and super adorable cup. I do really well with kind of offbeat or un unusual coffee mugs in my booth. So I'm really excited to add this to the mug tree at Collins Street Junction. Okay, we're just going to keep cooking in the kitchen here. So anytime I can find Nordic Ware pans, and again, these are cake pans. This is a 10 cup capacity Nordic Ware cake pan. Again, you'll see it because it has the Nordic Ware logo on it. Whether they're vintage or contemporary, these always do really well for me. We know the fall is coming up and I just could not resist this adorable turkey cake pan. I love it. I love the detail on it, as you can see, just really great. So basically you pour your uh, two, uh, 10 cups of batter into the two things, you bake them, you frost the middle, and you kind of fold them together like a book, and you have a 360 cake for your holidays. So a, a great find. Really happy to find this as well. As a vintage buyer, you'll start to really train your eye as you go along to look for quality, and those things will really jump out at you as you go along. So when I was thrifting in Miami, there was a mug tree and I just saw these beautiful mugs and there was just something about the classic detail of them that kind of had a really unique look to me. So there was two of the larger coffee mugs and three of the complimentary small mugs. Now these are actually from Sweden. Handmade, I don't know if you can see the stamp there, they're all numbered, and I'm going to butcher this poor name, but the artist is Hoganix. Oh, I'm not even going to try, but anyway, I found a beautiful set of five, two of the large, three of the small accompanying mugs, but there was just something so beautiful it looked very mid-century modern to me. I did look on Etsy and eBay, and these are very collectible. I don't normally buy a lot of off pieces like this or odd numbers, but because they were such an unusual and high quality setting and were numbered. Um, and again, very collectible, Swedish, Danish, where it's just such high quality and such artistic pieces that I could thought I couldn't go wrong. So I'll give you, again, you're hitting a little bit of the ring light here. But as I usually do, I'll take up front closer pictures for the end of the video so you can get a little bit better look at them as we go through. Well, you can't go wrong with a wood bunny. So this is definitely going to be a flip project for me, whether I'll hold on to it to the spring or if I'll try to incorporate it by the summertime. Definitely going to do some a uh, little bit of paint and touch up on it and then probably use one of the Roy Cycle um, collage papers and so those are have the most beautiful patterns the most unique style so I always do really well anytime I use any of the Roy cycle uh, products so I think we'll go ahead and put bunny together and you'll look for this one in an upcoming thrift haul and thrift flip video I'm always looking for really cool vintage books but sometimes I find contemporary ones that are just as exciting and interesting me to to me as well so this one, I found this really cute doodling in French book. It's like a drawing book, kind of walks you through how to draw some of the more iconic French figures. Birds, the Eiffel Tower, some 
great some great vintage pages in here as well so if you're know someone who's a vintage enthusiast and an artist it's just a great gift book so i couldn't pass that one up i had to grab that one as well as this beautiful birding life book from chronicle books it talks all about collecting with bird memorabilia a little bit about um bird watching using birds and decor kind of the history of birds it is a gorgeous hardcover book that came in retail at $50. And it was just a beautiful piece that I could not pass up. So I had to add that to my thrift haul as well. It was a great price and I'll be looking forward to having that in my booth as well. One of the things that I particularly love collecting, two things, heads, faces, sculptures, stone faces, things like that, and also queens. There's just something about being a Virgo, being the queen of the zodiac sign, you know, the, the virgin queen. Um, I share a birthday with Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth. So I always love queen items. This one actually comes from um, Italy. It's stamped. You can see the really interesting importation stamps, the authenticity stamps. This is what they call, I did some research on it, and this is what they call a dark head. She actually comes with a partner as well, and there's a very, very interesting story about their courtship, their revenge on each other, cursing. It's just these are very common in Italian homes across um, the country from what I understand. So somebody must have brought her with them to the U.S., um, and it'll be really interesting to see how it does on eBay, but I'm really happy to have it. But it's one of those things where if it doesn't sell, I won't be that upset because sometimes I just love to keep it if it doesn't sell. So anyway, she's beautiful. I just wanted to share that we found her as well down in that area. I may have shared with you previously, but my booth in Plant City, Florida is Collins Street Junction, which is an old train station in Plant City. So when I came across these beautiful cast iron bookends, I could not pass them up. I mean, how gorgeous is this little, it's actually very heavy. Um, how gorgeous is this cast iron book uh, and set? So it's vibrant, the paint looks amazing. I think they're gonna do really well for me at Collins Street Junction. We have a lot of train collectors, a lot of car and vintage enthusiasts in that town. And so I'm really excited to see how those do for us as well. A lot of my customers are vintage pattern, vintage sewer enthusiasts, and Simplicity was super smart a few years ago when they started re-releasing some of their iconic pattern um, graphics as different gift wares and started releasing some of their old patterns back out into the market. We just love all that mid-century modern and 1940s and 50s style. So it was really cool to be able to see them release giftware as well. So I found this beautiful set that includes an apron, a dish towel, two Simplicity mugs, and two refrigerator magnets. And I just want to say these refrigerator magnets, I actually have four of them on my refrigerator now. So it was really cool to see this set. I'll flip over the box. Yes, it's new. They're not authentic vintage, but I just thought this re-release was such a great idea. So you can kind of see that magnets, the mugs, the towel. Great gift item if you know someone who is a vintage sewing enthusiast. So again, super haul, really happy to have that. That really caught my eye. The last two items that we're going to include in this thrift haul are actual physical pictures that hang on the wall. This first one here, kind of thinking about home crafting and handmade decor. I'll try to hold it up. This is actually called Pink Daisies. This was a, a kit that was released. Actually, I believe you can still buy the kit, but this one is completed, matted, and framed. And don't you just love that cute little bumblebee right there? Anyway, a beautiful picture uh, that I think is gonna go just right into my booth. I can't see a thing that I need to do with it. It's gorgeous, and I'm just gonna include it uh, so that it's available for spring. It's one of those things that I'm like, should I hold on to it? But now I'm gonna let it go to a home of somebody who will really appreciate it. Um, it is super beautiful, love it. The detail in it is amazing. And my last picture, I guess I wanted to keep everything on this trip, uh, is this gorgeous picture 
Uh, it's a reproduction print of Buckingham Palace that looks like it might even be hand signed by the artist. This one was really cheap, and I think it's because they put it in the frame wrong. So it looked like the glass was broken, but when I brought it home, cleaned it up, and took it back apart, it just needed to be adjusted. So again, I know that we have the ring light issue, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little zoom in on it so you can see it a little closer. Um, and as usual, I'll take pictures for the end of the video here so you can see everything up close. So that's my vintage haul from South Florida last week. I'm so glad that you joined me today. I hope you'll come back for our next vintage haul, thrift flip, whatever we've got going on here. So again, from Cindy at Spark of Vintage, please like, subscribe, and join us, and we'll see you again soon. So happy thrifting. <music>